Hi, I'm Joe Panessa, and this is how I set up a tip-up. So we have our tip-up here. This is the Frayville Thermal one. This one's great because you can fish it outside and it's not gonna get frozen in the hole real bad like some of the traditional style tip-ups. And so basically it's real simple. So we have our, in this case, I'm using this as a JB Lures Gemini. It's a great tip-up jig once you put a minnow, some bait on there. Um, and then basically we're gonna take your standard uh, depth bomb right here. And I like to just clip that onto your bait and drop it down the hole for starters. This is how we're gonna set the depth that we wanna rig the tip up at. And in my case here, um, I used a simple bobber stop right here. That bobber stop we're gonna to use to indicate how far off the bottom we want our bait. And if you don't wanna use a bobber stop, um, the suffix metered tip up line is a great choice. Um, it'll help you kind of identify where your tip up's gonna be set at without the need for a bobber stop. But in this case, we have a bobber stop, so we're gonna let our bait, we're gonna pull line out and let that thing go down to the bottom. Meanwhile, we're gonna pull that bobber stop up, keep pulling the bobber stop until your line goes slack once you've hit the bottom. And in deeper water, it takes longer than otherwise. So now we're on bottom, we've had slack here. So this is where the tip, this little bobber stop comes into play. So I wanna bring this first, we're gonna bring it down till it's at the top of the hole when your line's tight. And that's gonna be pretty much exactly at bottom. So from there, I'm gonna pull it, and however far that bobber stop is above the hole is how far off the bottom your bait will be. So in this case, I like to usually set my tip up about a foot to a foot and a half off the bottom. That's what we have about here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide that bobber stop down to the edge of the ice, and that's how we know the depth that the bobber, or the depth that your tip up will be off the bottom is once we set our tip up, we're gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna crank this up quick. So now that I've reeled this all the way back up to the surface, we're gonna go ahead and rig up our tip up. So typically with tip up fishing, um, you're gonna be targeting more predatory species like pike, walleye, um, sometimes uh, depending where you are, certain species of trout. Um, so in this case, we're gonna be using a minnow for that. Uh, when you're rigging up your tip up, with the minnow, um, it's pretty simple, I would say. Um, first, you're gonna grab one of your minnows. Here we just have some simple, I believe these are fathead minnows. Um, and one way that I like to rig a minnow up when I'm fishing a tip up for walleye is to hook them simply just behind their rear dorsal fin. So you're gonna grab your minnow, so just the tail's popping out, and we're gonna slide that hook just behind the main dorsal going not too far you don't want to go too high because then you're going to go through the spine of the fish and he won't be able to swim. Um, so we got our minnow hooked up. We're going to drop it back down the hole and we're going to go all the way till that bobber stop pops out. So there's our bobber stop. This is where we want this to be right at the edge of the top of the hole. So we're going to set this about here and we'll go ahead and crank up the last little bit of line. So that bobber stop is right at the ring here. And that's how you know that your, your bait in this case will be in that perfect, you know, however far you set it off the bottom before, that's where that bait's gonna be. Um, and all you have to do is simply tilt your flag down underneath the arm bar there. And as, as soon as a fish grabs that and line starts going off, that will twist and your flag will go up. Um, one last simple thing I like to do with the tip up is put a little bit of reflective tape on there. At nighttime, that's a great way if you can just kind of shine your spotlight out the window of your house or your shack, and it, you're gonna see that flag a lot easier if it's in that upward position with a little bit of reflective tape on there. <laughs>